Hello ladies and gentlemen, what is up? It is Seaton here. Welcome to a video on gearing up at Rift Nightmare Tight Endgame. So a lot of you uh, may be soon reaching that level of 65. I know I reached it a couple of days ago and I've spent the last couple of days figuring out kind of the easiest ways to progress at Endgame and what you should be aiming for, etc. And uh, today we're going to be talking about how to gear up a fresh level 65. Now, one of the pretty much first things you want to aim for when you reach max level is 800 hit now this will allow you to enter expert dungeons and kind of you know reliably hit expert mobs which will make your life a whole lot easier and from expert dungeons you know you can really get into uh, the whole end game farming and kind of progress from there onto raids if that's your kind of thing you know if not then whatever, but you know, most people want to know how do they get into the dungeons, how do they get into the raids, how do they become the best player in the world, and that's what we're going to be focusing on today. How to become the best player in the world, no we're not really, we're going to be talking about how to get that initial 800 hit, so that you can get into expert dungeons, and to a lot of people, this can be very, very confusing. Now, one thing you need to note is that with the introduction of Rift Nightmare Tide, what they have done is they have really mixed up where hit is on your gear. Now, there are a total of uh, eight different slots that hit will be on, and I'm just going to talk you through those slots. So, you got your helmet, you have your chest, you have your gloves, you have your legs, you have your weapon. Now, this can either be a two hand with, um, you know, a large chunk of hit on, or a main hand and off hand with a hit split between the two weapons. Um, and then you have the wand, and then you have your neck. So if you have a hundred hit on each of these items, you know, if you have a two hand, that's 200 hit on that item, you will have 800 hit. So the thing you want to be looking for is a at least a hundred hit on each one of the items. And now you're probably saying, where do I get those items from? So we're going to talk you through pretty much every slot individually. So what I like to call the armor, which is the um, the head, the chest, the gloves, and the legs, this can actually be gotten um, via a variety of tre treasure chests located in Tarkin Glacier. If you go to Port Scudra, there are going to be three ships around this area, and kind of around these uh, ships in various hidden locations. There are eight different treasure chests can be looted by everybody one time and you get eight different items from them. Jonas on Rift Great has done a very very good written guide with pictures of all the locations and also a video guide of that so you can pick up all of these eight chests. These are the items that I got. So I got two gloves with a hundred hit on, um, three chests with a hundred hit on, uh, two legs with a hundred hit on and one helmet with a hundred hit on. So basically that is 400 hit for the armor you know if I did need that. Luckily I managed to surpass that gear quite quite quickly. However, one item that I'm going to say is not necessary to get from those is the helmet, because this kind of goes into my second point. The second thing you want to be doing is crafted gear. Gear gear with hit on can be crafted insanely cheaply. At the moment, it's heavily, heavily inflated on the auction house, because people um, kind of understand that uh, you know nobody really knows what's happening with Nightmare Tide crafting. Nobody's figured it out yet, written a guide, so they're just paying what they think is a reasonable price for an item because like uh, for example like the weapon that I've got at the moment like looks like an awesome awesome weapon 200 hit uh, a nice proc tons of spell power on that probably cost me about 50 plat to craft and I'm not beating around the bush there weapons and everything is so cheap to craft but on the auction house that's probably going for about 400 plat and it's crazy people are super super inflating at the moment but yeah, you can craft the helm via armor smithing um, or uh, outfitter, depending on you know the type of armor that you're wearing. So with the helm, uh, you've got basically uh, either any one of these that you can craft. So for example, this is the cleric uh, DPS one. You can see if I alt click it, it can be upgraded from a 53 hit one to a 100 hit one with two dust of the void. And two dust of the void are really really easy to get. You can buy them uh, via the rift store craft. Thing, um, dust of the Void, and uh, yeah, you just buy them 10 Void Stones, very, very cheap. They also drop from a variety of planar-based content, just as a pro tip, right, for anybody that uh, maybe doesn't want to get ahead in terms of stuff. Dust of the Void is selling 
for a, a crap load at the moment. So literally just, if you want, spend all of your, um, uh, what is it, void stones on them that you've gained via leveling and sell them on the auction house. They get them for like, uh, I believe it's about seven plat each on my shard, which is Zavial. So literally you can make a crap ton of money just by burning all your void stones. Understandably, some people don't want to do that, but that was just a tip that I thought I would quickly throw out for anyone that wants to, uh, you know, make a big, uh, big amount of money very, very fast. Okay, so you got the helmet, and let's go over to... Now, now, one thing I want to talk about, also with crafting, right, is you'll notice on various other stuff. So let's go on to something that is not a helm. Uh, so let's look at the chest, for example. See, the chest has hit on initially before you upgrade it, but when you go to upgrade it, you have this thing called Metal Amender, which is needed to upgrade it. Unfortunately, Metal Amenders are going to be very, very expensive, and pretty much not many people have the recipe for them unless they hoarded a large amount of craft marks before the expansion um, because uh, let's have a look if we go to crafting on the store and then look at uh, let's have a look armor smithing and yeah you'll see the recipe is very very expensive for it and then it actually costs quite a bit of materials to craft I mean the main expense for crafting a metal amender is actually the titanium crystal which is a rare crystal that you can only obtain via very long minion missions um, so that's quite expensive at the moment so that's why I kind of don't really uh, initially encourage crafting gear um, for sort of DPS or healers that require a metal amender. Now, if you're a tank, this is a whole different story. Tanking gear at endgame is very, very difficult to initially obtain, you know, that initial... Um 800 hit because hit and toughness have been merged into one stat so hit now prevents you from being critically hit so tanks as well will need to get 800 hit um, they are probably going to have to pay the price and uh, actually craft the full tank gear or you know go out do some open world content get the void stones and then buy that in the store you know so you can go to armor and it should be somewhere under the void stone gear I mean there's a variety of stuff you can do like I think the best way to farm void Voidstones is legitimately, uh, well, legitimately zone hopping. So, uh, for example, if there is a zone event on your shard in Gabor Reef, you participate in that, and then you hop to another shard, and then just keep on spamming zone events. And I believe at the moment that is the fastest way to, you know, farm void stones, but I'm not entirely sure about that. So that's pretty much it for the armor. If we go uh, open the weaponsmith, you'll see literally there are there are so so many different weapons that you can craft, right? But a lot of them, again, they do require the um, amenders to upgrade. So you kind of pigeonholed into a couple of weapons for each class. Now, if you are a, um, a warrior or a rogue, you're going to be pretty much pigeonholed into dual wielding if you want to get into experts quickly. You can craft uh, one-handed swords, and they're not unique equipped, so you can dual wield them. The swords are actually pretty damn good, and there are no real specs that, you know, suffer from dual wielding anymore. So you're going to be just as competitive as using a two-hand, and those are pretty cheap to, uh, you know, craft initially, and then you use two dust of the void um, to... Uh, you know, upgrade them into that better weapon that has 100 hit on. So, if you sort of combine the hit from all these stuff so far, so that should be kind of 600 hit. And then for casters, if you go into, uh, I believe it's Artificer, yes it is, and then you go to Starves. Now, the one for DPS, um, is the fine Sar Fiber spell staff, and basically this is actually a mage staff. You cannot craft a cleric weapon without one of the amenders, and that's gonna cost you an absolute fortune. So clerics for the meantime, I'm using the mage staff, pretty happy with it, you know, I know I'm probably gonna replace it with an expert drop soon, so I'm, you know, I'm not too worried about that for now. So you can just craft the stuff, and uh, then again, it's like free Dust of the Void to upgrade it, and boom, look at you, you've got an absolutely amazing stuff. And you know, it's, it's pretty damn cheap to craft. Um, I believe the stuff cost about, just have a look at the mats, that will probably be about 60 to 80 gold to craft at the moment. So a fairly affordable price for pretty much everyone.
So that leaves two final slots, uh, which are the neck and also the wand. Now, the neck is uh, yet again a crafted item made by Artificers. Um, you can craft necklaces for all classes, and then again, it's two dust of the void to upgrade them, and boom, you have your neck. That, so that brings you up to 700 hit, and then you got the final item, which is the wand. Now, the crafted wand, once again, does require an amender to, you know, upgrade and get it to that 100 hit level, where it is actually useful. Let's see if we can bring up the wand here. Uh, there it is, there it is, yeah, yeah. So, you'll see you need a uh, ornament amender to actually upgrade the wand, but luckily... Uh, if you do the level 65 Chronicle, which is Shadow from Beyond on any one of your characters, then that will drop a wand, it has a chance to drop a wand or a ranged weapon. Which you can uh, you can just chuck in that slot, and bam, you have 800 hit. Now, providing you know your class spec and all that kind of stuff, you should be ready for experts. I mean... At this time, experts are very, very difficult, especially for people that aren't used to difficult and challenging five-man content. So the thing that I'm going to say is before, you know, you do join an expert, one, you want to have a pre-made group at the moment. Just for like the next week or so, you want to have a pre-made group because if you don't, then you are going to have a very, very bad time. Two is you really want to read up on your class and spec beforehand, you want to make sure you know what you're doing, you want to make sure that you are using the right masteries, the right talents, and that you're not missing anything out. Uh, currently it's very, very hard to heal on any, well, heal an expert on any class, with any class I should say, that's not either a purifier or a physician, just due to the fact that shielding is, I, I believe it's slightly imbalanced and a bit broken now. I have seen some amazing N-tier Chloromancers, such as due from um, Trinity Heal Experts, but literally it will be very, very difficult for the majority of Chloromancers. This is something that might be changed in the future, but for now, Purifiers and Physicians seem like the most viable classes for healing kind of endgame experts. So that's just uh, a couple of tips I wanted to throw out there on gearing up initially. Um, from there on, you know, you're going to get your Abyssal Crusaders marks, you're going to get sort of fragments fragments of horror and tons of other currencies tons of expert drops but we're going to talk about that in a later video this is just you know i've got to 65 and how do i get the gear i need to enter experts and start progressing in the end game um so yeah let's get to 65 um run the experts you want to get the gear from the experts and then we're gonna kind of move on to talking about stuff uh you know in a couple of days time about farming nightmare rifts and all that kind of stuff it's actually much more but nightmare rifts are very expensive to do and this is why i haven't talked about um doing them yet because personally we're not doing them you know they do cost a lot of currency to initially initiate so it's better to actually have the gear um so you're all geared up and ready for nightmare rifts and that way you can farm them and get deeper into the rifts you can get to those more s challenging stages and thus get the bigger rewards out of them for sort of the, the both the currency and time invested so a you know getting 800 hit and starting out with experts is kind of a brilliant way to um begin your level 65 adventure Granted, you know, not everybody want, is going to want to jump straight into the experts, but that's entirely up to you. This is just kind of a quick and dirty guide of, you know, oh, you've hit 65, do this, this, and this, and boom, you have 800 hit. And that's pretty much it. But once again, for tanks, you're going to want to, um, you know, you're going to want to take your time with gearing up, because if you rush into experts without a healer that you know is very good, then you are going to waste not only your time, but everybody else's time, and it's just going to be pretty damn painful. So, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to thank you again, once again for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something. Um, uh, take care if you enjoyed the video and want to see more of this kind of stuff. Subscribe to the channel. Um, have an absolutely great day, guys, and I'll see you next time, okay?